Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. This is the 2021 range from Foster. In the background, you can hear the Hoovers. That is because this event will open in approximately one hour's time, which means I can still do another five videos before it opens, if I'm quick, that is. And uh, anyway, so uh, Foster is meant to be a cheap brand of Trigano. A cheap brand, which uh, indeed is highlighted by the color scheme. We've got this green color, and indeed the green color with the black. It's the idea of that. Uh, if you saw this, for example, in a telecommunications company, it suggests youth, and, uh, but not expensive. Now, there's no such thing as a not expensive van, but this, above all, will be brought out by the vehicle that I'm going to show you, this integrated 741 QB, which costs almost the same as the vehicles down there from Moviletta Design, which also part of the Trigano Group, but at the other spectrum, other side of their branding range. This is at the top end. And this is supposedly at the bottom end or the cheap end or the, um, if you like, uh, to put it in the supermarket terms, where you've got something like, the, the, you've got the, uh, the words such as value are used by Tesco, for example, in the UK. So you say Tesco, Tesco value, which is sort of the real cheap stuff. And at the top end, you've got something that can, like taste the difference. I use that again, the branding from Tesco's, but this goes across all, all uh, super, which is, which is the, the, you know, it costs four times more or something. So this is the value and that's the taste the difference. But now the, the thing here being that the price is almost the same. And what I don't understand here uh, into my way of thinking is that this is going to create all sorts of conflicts. Anyway, having said all that, uh, I'm going to come back to it. 67,000 euros, 295 height, 235 width, a length of 741. You can see it's an integrated van and uh, it does have some differences though from the uh, Mobile Vetter design which I just pointed at and when I said the price it's almost the same not quite but there's not much difference in it one thing in my opinion we see from this is a uh, distinct uh, okay, color brightness and it doesn't look cheap. Mind you, it isn't cheap, but it doesn't look it either. It looks pretty good. Here, the bed, it'll come up or down, depending if you need more room in the garage, or you want to get into bed easily. The queen bed, you're supposed to walk into it. You're supposed to be able to get into it from both sides without any problems. Look at this, I'm standing on this, and uh, that's the idea. If I didn't stand on this part, if I did, I'd hit my head on the wall. Oh, I've not even got some storage in there, there you go. wardrobes at either side and here we have this will slide across this will come across so you can see now in this part of the van shower's got a plug in it it's a small drain hole at that so that's a that's a bad thing i think i think you want two drain holes i appreciate it's a little bit more cost because you've got to sort of have somewhere for to leave by right? 
toilet. All right, three burners. I mean, this type of corner kitchen, you'll see the same Movileta, for example, the same type of lighting. It's the same company, they're using the same parts in many cases. The fact that the company's really big, uh, it can means it can use the same materials across the range. Indeed, the, uh, the designs from different brands are basically the same. It just has sort of different colour schemes in many cases. I mean, this big fat fridge here, the same fridge you will see in the cheapest and the most expensive of pans. Thing is, though, if the uh, company like Trigano comes up to the manufacturers, Thetford or Dometic or now Vitri Frigo and says, uh, yep, yeah, we'll take, I don't know, 10,000 other things. The, the manufacturer knows how much they can do and um, uh, they can offer cheaper prices. They've even got uh, heating <laughs> in the floor. Okay, right, what about what are the differences? Well, it's not sitting at the table, that's a quality table. Bed up there, which I, I don't want to start taking down, I think. No, I don't. Um, should be more of these things. There you go, got two. One and 2.1 amps. I think it's... I mean, that's good. I'm glad it's here anyway. I'm glad there's something. One arm will take ages to charge anything. Because most people have to put you know, put them in themselves. And it's not all that easy. Right, here's one major difference between the, the brands. This doesn't have a double floor. Right, so... So there's no storage there. That's going to mean you're going... It's going to affect its use in winter. And that is the big difference between the two. But now let's do a little calculation here. So let's suppose in the other one, this is going to, suppose it's going to cost 10,000 euros more. If you've got this on uh, finance, so here you can see it roughly, very, very, very approximately, you're going to have to put around a third down as a deposit. And no, I'm sorry, I'm exaggerating there. 25% down as a deposit. So you put an extra two and a half thousand down as a deposit. And you've got seven and a half thousand left. And you get five years to pay. Uh, so 60 months to pay seven and a half thousand more. There you go, it's about 100. And with interest, it's going to be 125 euros uh, extra per month. Something like that. I think I've done, I think I've done that correctly. So that's why I suggest that you looked, you sort of upgraded, so to speak, onto uh, something like Mobile Vetta. Also, I, mean, I suspect, I suspect, I don't know, but I suspect the Mobile Vetta would hold its value more. You say, ah, oh, it's Italian, it won't hold its value so much. I don't know if these models are actually made in Italy or made in Germany. Now, Foster has just about to open a new factory in uh, south of Pescara, in Abruzzi, in, in Italy, to double its uh, camper van production uh, capacity. Right, great. So, there you have it. Fantastic uh, garage. I don't think I mentioned the fantastic garage. And as you can see, we've got that windy thing there which will wind up the bed and uh, give you more space in this garage, if you wanted it. So I'll close that like that. Integrated 741 motorhome from Foster in its 2021 version. I hope you found that interesting. 
and useful. Thanks for watching. Please like, because that helps me, I think. And uh, please subscribe, if you haven't already done so.